Snoopy! How you doing, man? Always pleasure to meet I don't know what to do. Beagle. I don't know how to... Uh, how, uh, fellow, fellow what? Beagle. Oh, be, you're a beagle? What? Uh, am I a beagle? Is that a little Snoopy? I don't know what Snoopy is. Isn't this Snoopy? Is, no, no, no. This is definitely Snoopy. I didn't know Snoopy was a beagle. Well, Snoopy's a beagle, man. Hi, Snoopy. Hi, Snoopy. We've isn't done a scene together he's once. A beagle, isn't he? We have. I was in the freezing cold warehouse last season. In oh my like, God, we have so many freezing cold warehouses. But oh, yes, continue. There was please. one with some alligator dude. Yes. You know what you're talking about? Yes. I was in that scene. Oh in the background. God. I was bored one day and I was like, I gotta be an extra on set today. How could I not notice awesome. you in this outfit? I mean, I know, my God. it's really I wasn't dressed as Snoopy, obviously. That you weren't? I don't, I don't think the director would have been fond of that. Like, that, that guy's get him out of here. <laughs> he would not have liked that. So how are we doing? Good. 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 Yeah. You having fun this weekend? Yes. I love these things. Uh, you know, when you when you get these events where all the fans can come out, regardless of whatever they're a fan of, and express their passion for it, it's amazing. Like, it's so great to see people just putting it out there without yeah. any fear of judgment. That's great. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel right now in this costume. As you should. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, what, what I feel for you guys, though, because everyone wants answers. You have answers, but you can't give answers to it's anyone. It's an but awful feeling. It We're really in the middle, is. yeah, of this, filming this really cool season with lots of twists and turns, and all we want to do is just get people excited and, and tell them, and we can't. Yeah. What can you tell us? George Takai. Can either of you do a George Takai impression? The, oh, my. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, oh my. Oh, that was good. Oh, my. Yes. There it is. The well, second one was well, better. Well, he actually, we had a very funny moment in the trailer one, one morning because the, the interaction between his character and my character has, if you put it in a very, you know, if, if you say it literally, um, it sounds very strange. And I did say it literally, just out of, came out of the top of my mouth, and his response was, oh, my. <laughs> And you'll just have to stay tuned. After season four, I will tell you what I said. Yeah. After season, okay. So we'll talk to you in the spring. Yes, see you in the play. spring, stay tuned. <laughs> this is the biggest cliffhanger interview I've ever done. <laughs> stay tuned for another year. Yeah. You will know what I said to George Guy, to Guy in the trailer. <laughs> I asked Anna this, but I wonder with you guys too. After playing with characters for so long, how do you, do you approach them differently? Do you look at them differently? Do you live with them off season two? It's a challenge for sure. You want to go for it? Yeah, no, I, I think we evolve as people in between seasons. So when we pick the show back up, we always have, you know, a new energy to offer. Or maybe we're older, wiser, you know. So hopefully that goes into our characters and our characters grow along with us as we grow as individuals, I would yeah. say. There's a lot of character transference, I find. You know, like, Ksenia has also mentioned, you know, she's yeah. like, when she does auditions for other shows, she's like, has to consciously avoid Kenzieisms because mm. after you've been playing these characters so long they become integrated in how in you behave blood, you know it's like I'll down. often like be in line at a grocery store and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like what the hell and it's like, I've seen him do this it's I not pretty I want that lettuce <laughs> you know no but you know you have to the be lettuce. careful <laughs> yeah <laughs> of all things yeah, you pick the lettuce it's the last non-wilted lettuce yeah. <laughs> um, I growl too it's weird yeah. I don't know why I do it but but yeah, you have to you have to keep you know, and also there's also the challenge of after playing a character for so long to keep it fresh, mm -hmm. you know, and and that's what we're so lucky with on our show is that we're not like a procedural where it's always the same in same out. We get to blow the the doors off the characters every once in a while, whether we're doing like a body swapping episode or like a dream sequence. We get to push it around and like reinvent, and this is the gift of like being on a show like this. Talking about reinventing, your your character is getting funnier and funnier. I feel like as, as oh the season progresses. Thank you. So do you come from that background, or are you working on getting the, those comedic chops? Oh, God. <laughs> I never know how to answer these I know. Questions. I'm sorry. No. Um, I find it interesting, I, though. I, I appreciate it so much that you think I'm getting funnier and funnier, because I, you know, that's constantly a, a worry of mine and has been from day one. Am I funny enough? Can I deliver this funny? And now I, you know, there is that pressure to, to keep it going and to push yourself and get to the next level. So... If you think I'm getting funnier, then thank you, because that's you know that's that's all a girl, you know, dreams of of hearing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I like that. Thanks. I'll take that. That's what we're in too. I hope to get funnier. You know. Everyone does. We've would... been upping her dosage of funny juice on set. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. We should now is a direct coined, drip IV. Yes, we've coined the term funny juice. She just walks funny, around. Yeah, I just have an IV. Funny juice. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> And go. Ready. Woo! Yeah. Oh, I like that little acting. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate that. That's we nice. worked on that. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to chat with the, the listener later. You've Sorry, done I left to hang it. All right. You've done a few episodes of Listener. Absolutely. Yeah. What's it like over there? Just because we're heading over to talk to them next. Are you great? Yeah. Throw them under a bus for me. I can do that. Yeah. Literally. Uh, you know what? Uh, I I play mostly with Lauren Lee Smith, and you know she is such a generous, lovely woman, and we've played husband and wife in two or three different projects now. So. Mm. Um, 
we just have like such an ease with each other and when we show up on set we're just like all right let's do this and you know it's it, it's fun and fast and very friendly over there that's interesting if you, you've played husband and wife on three separate shows mm -hmm. or, or projects yeah. so how do you how does it differ yeah does it differ? Thank you for asking my question for me. Appreciate that. I was I, I, you could see I was lost, and you went for it. I appreciate that. Well, of course it differs. I mean, on listeners, she's a blonde in one, she's a redhead in another one, she's a brunette. Oh, it's men. just so vastly vain. different. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's all project specific. So it's like, you know, some on, on listener, you know, Adam and uh, Michelle are going through their thing. But, you know, on, every, on everything... We, we were in this movie called uh, A Weekend in Havana or something together. So there we were like... Or something. You don't even know what the movie was well, called. It's something Three Days in Havana. Okay. Three Days in Havana. Check it out. <laughs> um, you know, so it's like every situation is different, right? So you have to adapt to that. But I love working with her. And, and I've had a few chances to work with Craig as well. And he's a blast. We just actually went on a motorcycle ride together because we both have bikes. So uh, good guy to hang out with. Probably the most embarrassing nickname to grow up with was Snoopy. And somehow the genesis was like, hey, Super. And then, you know, Soupy, Snoopy. And then Snoopy stuck. So here I am in public school and my parents are come on, Snoopy. Yeah, not, not good in any way. When did it leave? The, the scarring has been permanent. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're, you're still in therapy talking yes, about it. In fact, day. looking at you right now is bringing back horrible memories. <laughs> I must run away now. Thanks, MSN.